Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment and we are at the Green Villa Barn in Independence, Oregon. I'm gonna take you inside and show you what we're working with today. We got a couple different things going on. We're doing a photo booth later on. We're gonna be doing live streaming for the ceremony. We're gonna be doing some spotlights on the dance floor, up lights around the room, and of course, we're gonna be the entertainment for the evening. So we're gonna take you inside and show you what we're working with. Okay, so over here is where we're gonna have our photo booth. Our photo booth is gonna be set up a little bit later on, I think right after the ceremony. This particular package, we're gonna be doing a five hour photo booth. Um, so we made them a custom backdrop and a custom template uh, that has their name on it. If you guys book a photo booth with us, we get all the forms and so that way you can fill out a custom template that that way people can take home. Not only that, but this couple decided to get our guest book. And so what happens is, after everybody goes to the photo booth, we're gonna print out an extra strip. We're gonna glue it in a guest book. They're gonna write a little message to the bride and groom and the bride and groom are gonna take that home. So let me show you around the room. All right, so what we have here is we have a beautiful barn. This place is gorgeous, but it's a really big room and we don't want the people that are here having a very, very hard time to see versus the people that are over there. If you notice, we have speakers right at the front of the table. And if we try to turn up the volume and have these people be able to hear clear, they're gonna struggle being able to hear the music. So if you see over here, we're having a speaker that's gonna be set over in this area. And then over here in this back corner, we have a speaker. So when we have a big count, uh, this particular wedding has 115 people. But when we have bigger weddings, we wanna make sure that we have proper sound so it's not uncomfortable for the person that's sitting in the front and the speakers are way too loud and it makes it very pleasant for the dinner setup and so everybody can hear correctly. So it really just depends on the kind of room that we're working with and the amount of guests that we have. All right, so at this particular wedding, this is where cocktail hour is gonna be. Now it really depends on the weather. We are in the middle of October, but we're supposed to do cocktail hour out here. So many times at different weddings that we do, we'll have the ceremony, which is all the way over there. Everybody will transfer over to this area where cocktail hour is gonna be. And then we'll go inside for dinner, grand entrance, and the rest of the events that are happening. But it's really important when we do a site walk, figuring out where everything is gonna be so we can have proper sound at each of the locations. So when we're doing events, when we need to make announcements, we have the proper setup. So that way we can keep all your guests informed of what's happening and then easily get them from out here inside for the rest of the reception. All right, so today at this particular wedding, we are gonna be live streaming the ceremony and let me show you what we got working with over here. So this particular setup, we're just doing a one camera live stream. We're gonna take audio from our DJ board so we can have nice clean audio that's gonna go directly into our camera. And then we have this, let me show you what this is. So this is called the Live View Solo. And these are two data cards and this is how we take the live stream and get it up to the internet. A lot of people wanna do live streaming at their wedding and they think they can do it themselves. And they have a couple problems. One, it's usually an iPad in the back of the room and they can't hear the audio versus we take it from the DJ board or the soundboard and go directly into the camera. So the people at home have a nice clean sound. It's gonna go into our camera and then we're gonna go into our live view solo. And so this is a professional streaming package and it will take everything from the camera, audio, video, and we'll send it to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, wherever you guys wanna send it. We can send the stream live as the event is happening. All right, so this is our sound station. I have DJ Sterling, he's one of our DJs with our company and he is gonna be running the sound for today's event. We want it to be a nice, pleasant experience for the people that are viewing in person and also the people listening at home. So he's gonna be on our iPad, he's gonna be able to monitor the volume that's gonna be at the ceremony along with the people that are listening online. So we're gonna have two lapel mics, one for the officiant and one for the groom and that's gonna pick up all three of their voices. He's also gonna play the walk-in music, 
the bridal song and the exit song. So there's a lot of different moving parts when it comes to having a DJ at your wedding and also incorporating live streaming. So with us, it's all in the same company and we know what it takes to work well together with all the different moving parts. All right, so we're about to start our ceremony. We have everybody seated. A couple more people are coming in. We're gonna go over inside the barn. That's where the wedding party is gonna be. We're gonna mic up the minister. We're gonna mic up the groom. We're gonna get the bride in there. I'm gonna make sure everybody has their cue points and we're gonna help them walk in. If you see it's a pretty far distance from where everybody's walking and music's being played over here. So we need to make sure that we have the proper cue points so everybody knows exactly what's going on and they know when to walk because they're not gonna be able to hear the music. So when we're gonna go in here, everybody's supposed to be out at the ceremony site. They left the door open, half the people are in here. And that's why it's really good that we have a setup in here so that way we can get everybody from the ceremony site. Um, there's not a lot of people know what's going on so we're gonna inform everybody so we can keep everything move along so that way we can start our ceremony on time. Uh, if I could have everybody's attention really quick at this time, if we could have everybody start making their way out these side doors to the ceremony. Once we have everybody out there, we can start our ceremony. So if everybody can start making their way out to the ceremony site, once we have everybody out there, we can begin our ceremony. So and with that, Travis, Sydney, go ahead and kiss each other. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing tonight? So, our goal today was to get them married. Everybody at this time, please stand up. Get out of your seats. Family and friends, newly husband and wife, Travis and Sydney. Let's make some noise for them. You guys all can have a seat. So just so you guys know, dinner is plated tonight. It's gonna to be brought around to you guys. If anybody doesn't know where the bathroom is, go outside these doors into the left-hand side. That is where you can find the bathroom. After dinner, we do have a photo booth in the back for you guys for the remainder of the evening. Dinner is now ready. It will be brought out to you guys shortly. Thank you guys. How many years? Four to three, let's make some noise for them. So, at this time, you're going to give the bride and groom the best relationship advice that you guys know. They're sitting right over there. The best advice. Oh. 